Hey everybody, it's Sarah for Chroma Yachty and welcome to my channel. Being near water is my happy place, so I thought I'd put my own spin on an ocean-inspired piece. I'm going to first start by making some islands with a palette knife and some spackle. I'm just going to spread it around making random shapes, slowly building them up and adding some texture by pushing my knife into the mounds. Then I'll let this sit for a few days and dry. Once the speckle dried, I poured a layer of the light blue paint onto the base of the piece. In retrospect, this could have been done first and would have been a lot easier to do, <laughs> but you live and you learn, right? The base coat of blue took about a day to dry, and now is the fun part of adding the color and life to the islands. I'm using a Stay Wet palette that I've put all of my acrylic paint on. This is a really great tool for doing paintings that you'll be working on for an extended period of time, because you can mix right on the tray, close the lid, and your paint is ready to use again the next time you need it. I'll add links for all of the supplies I'm using in the description below. The first color I added was Payne's Gray mixed with some white to add some depth. Next, I wanted to add some darker depth to the ocean, so I added some straight Payne's Gray. I didn't want it to be totally flat though, so I just mixed in some lighter tones and blended that all over. Then I did the same thing to the islands, making sure to get into the creases and craters so that they look like they would have shadows and depth. I thought it'd be really pretty to go with a rose gold mixed with a tan for the main island color instead of just straight tan. I think it gives more of a sunset vibe. I then added in another layer of the light and dark Payne's gray and a pop of white for highlights. Lastly, I wanted to add a little bit more contrast, so I added some copper to finish them off. Next, I added my resin layers. I started first by mixing a light teal and a medium blue and pouring them in a way that would mix the colors around evenly. Then I heated that with a heat gun with a concentrator tip. Next, I tilted the resin so it looks like it was flowing around the islands like water. Next, I added some areas of clear resin on top of my darker blue depth so you could see those areas better. Mixing in some clear resin also added some texture that made the water look more realistic. After the resin cured, I added my final layer of resin to completely encase the islands. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the making of this piece. If you did, please like and subscribe and happy creating.